Hi there, Ariel and David. Hi, Metal, Daniel, Dia, and Maya. So this parsha called Kitetse ends with something you may have heard about, the attack of a nation called Amalek. Uh, they came from out of nowhere, for apparently no reason, and attacked the Jewish people. And this is, of course, something we mention in uh, the Passover Agada, Behold Dor Vador, in every generation. There are people who attack us seemingly for no reason. And the Medrash focus on something that seems almost superficial. We are told, Zachor, remember, be vigilant against Amalek, because they could, you know, strike again. On the other hand, there's another famous uh, verse that starts with Zachor, and that's Zachor Yom HaShabbat HaKadcho, be vigilant on keeping the Sabbath day holy. So the Medrash says, is it a coincidence that they both use the same word? Is there, is there something that you have to, I mean, can you do both? Are they related in any way? And then it brings a, par a parable, which I believe is much the opposite of most parables. I think it's a negative example. It's a parable about a king who has a big banquet and the waiters are coming around with uh, oodles of food. And the king says to his advisors, I feel so happy now. I know that there are people in this kingdom of mine who support me and I feel secure. But towards the end, when the waiters are coming back with empty trays, and the food is gone. The king says to his advisors, you know, I feel very vulnerable. There are people out here who don't like me. And uh, I don't know what the next day will bring. So they ask him, how can you do both? And he said, well, yeah, that, that was my feelings when the king, when the trays were full, and that's my feeling that trays are empty. But I think that's a, a portrait of someone who is relying on their own strength and their own wits and their own political maneuvers to determine whether you know they feel secure or not. And so you can actually be swayed by the emotions of the, you know, what you see around you, you know, happy people eating and gorging themselves, you feel secure, and then, you know, people leaving and empty trays, maybe you start to worry about who's not your friend. But I think that that's exactly the point. You know, when the Jewish people were attacked by a Amalek, so one verse before it says, that the Jewish people ask the question, is God really in our midst or not? Is God among us? I mean, after all the miracles, they didn't know. And then, of course, they were, they were attacked by Amalek. So basically, Amalek is really the one who, who responds when there's doubt. So if you have doubts because you have no faith, if you have doubts because whenever something happens in life, you don't, you don't process that message and you don't try to grow from it and become a better person, then that's sort of an attitude of an Amalek where enemy is always lurking and you always have to be vigilant and worried. But I think Shabbat is the opposite. I think the Medrash is trying to say they're two sides of the same coin because a Shabbat attitude is the opposite. You're you know, you're not allowed to work on Shabbat because God didn't work on Shabbat. You're showing the faith in God and saying, you created the world, you're creating my world every day. I will not work on this day. I will have faith in you and things that happen in my life, I will try to process and grow and be a better person from them. And so that, with that attitude, which is the opposite of the Amalek attitude, uh, you're sure to be, to be better and perhaps not have these mood swings that this king had because he had nothing to rely on but his own power and what he perceived as this, whether he was, his friends were with him or against him. I hope that message makes sense. As I always do, I beg of you to push back and uh, look forward to any feedback. Have a great Shabbat.